What's going on guys, Mike with Tiger Supplies and today we're going over job site safety and in particular the different types of fire extinguishers that are used to put out specific fires. So jumping right into it, note that there's five different classes of fires, okay? You have a class A, a class B, class C, D, and then you jump into K, okay? Um, going over that class A, that is your ordinary combustible type of fires. That's going to be that wood, paper, trash, cloth, even plastics. You know, kind of those everyday uh, common, common items. Jumping into that class B, those are going to be your flammable liquids and gases. All right, we're talking like gasoline, paint liqueur, acetone, things amongst that nature. Now going to that class C, that's going to be the electrical fires, right? That could be machinery, motors, wiring, all anything and above within the electrical realm. Going into class D, those are going to be your combustible metals, okay? So that's going to be like magnesium, sodium, potassium, kind of those fires that are more chemical based, but really at the heart of it, they're metal. Um, and then jumping into that last one is the class K. Um, those are your combustible cooking mediums, right? So that could be vegetable or animal fats anything really that's oil or grease based but in the kitchen now let's go over the types of fire extinguishers used to put out each different class of fire um, jumping right into it you have water based uh, fire extinguishers and these are used on class a fires they typically have a stronger streams that you can use it at a distance um, and you know they'll, they'll shoot for about two minutes um, going into the next is going to be the dry chemical powder. These are by far the most popular out there in the field because they can be used on all classes of fires. Just note that sometimes in close quarters it may be uh, advantageous to go with something else because you can inhale a lot of that uh, dry chemical. Um, the next is going to be foam and these can be used on both class A and B. Again, this might be the ideal choice for a close quarter um, type of uh, environment just because you know the foam will stay on the fire. Um, and then the next is going to be the CO2. And these are typically used for electrical fires. They're actually are very short winded, so you got about 15 seconds and you gotta be really close. This is not gonna work at a distance, but these are the ideal ones to be used on an electrical fire, but also note you can use it on also A and B class fires as well. All right guys, so the fire's out now and, and you did a good job, but now it's time for the cleanup. Um, so let's go over that, all right? The most popular we said is dry chemical, but note that is also the messiest to clean up just because the dry powder goes everywhere. And also note that if you're in these close quarters, it's gonna reduce visibility. So you're gonna kinda wanna avoid putting them in tight stairwells and, and areas and exit routes that people would need to get out of, all right? Um, let's go over the, the water-based ones. Those are great, a somewhat easier cleanup. Um, but we see a lot of people actually going with the foam just because the foam is actually a little more effective at putting out a class A fire. It can also do the class B as well. And the foam itself is just easier than cleaning up that dry chemical, okay? And then that last one is the CO2. There's actually no cleanup involved with that one. It's, uh, it's a gas that will put it out and, and exterminate the oxygen. So that could be used right on live electrical equipment and you're gonna have minimal to zero cleanup on that. So just note a little bit about the cleanups of each fire extinguisher. Depending on the job site, if it's a very busy one, uh, let's say uh, skyscraper construction, you're probably gonna wanna go with that dry chemical just because it can be used on all different types of fires, class A, B, C, D, and K. Um, if you do a lot more electrical work, we're gonna really recommend that you do go with the CO2 based fire extinguisher. It's just the ideal one um, for you and it puts out electrical fires the best. Um, and overall, those are gonna be our two recommendations.